mean, you're, you're kidding around, but it looks like you've had quite a bit of experience uh, with, with drumming and playing with a band. Is that something yeah. you do on the side or you've done before? Yeah, I, 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 uh, I come from a very musical family. My dad played the drums. My brother makes his living as a drummer. Uh, my younger brother played, but he doesn't play anymore. He doesn't have any room in his house. Uh, I've got three drum sets all scattered across the world, Hawaii, Vancouver, New York. Uh, and I think one in Germany, actually, is still there. Some old Luftwaffe kit. But uh, that's a lie. No, uh, I, you know, because I was a flyer. And, uh, you know. But uh, I played in a band, and, and all, that was my first love. I wanted to be a drummer. Uh, unfortunately, I had no talent, so I had to move on to something else. <laughs> no, actually, I'm, I consider myself a pretty, you know, uh, average, mediocre, terrible, uh, you know, hack. Thank you. <laughs> Wildest time I ever had with the band, we played at the uh, National Communist Party, unbeknownst to us. My friend had a... Uh, no, I swear to God. My friend's mom worked for, uh, you know, a, a group that was against apartheid. And uh, it, he was black. His girlfriend was black. My girlfriend was white. So it was two girls, two guys, two black, two white. It was really, you know, a nice little combination. It was, you know, sort of communistic to begin with. And uh, none of us knew what we were playing. I would, at the break, I'm looking at all this, you know, communist literature, and I, and I said to my friend Keith, I said, Keith, you know, what's going on with all this literature here? I said, oh, my mom's part of the, uh, you know, Citizens of, uh, Against Apartheid or something like that, <laughs> and they're part of the national, they're, like, connected tangentially to the you know, National Communist Party, so yeah, you know, they, someday I got, like, some dossier, you know, on me as, <laughs> as a communist. Thank you, Mr. McCarthy. Okay, we'll, we'll Thank you very, much. very good. I tell you, it could be a number of people. It could be the sound guy, it could be our third AD, the doorman at the Coast Plaza. Kevin G. Fair. I don't take it personally. Oh, I, no. I still father him. You That's know. right. It doesn't matter if it's from father, my loins. Father is more than just Others. blood. You're absolutely right. It's all yeah. about the so caregiving. Your, so this baby's born in a, in a, in a, your baby's born in a different In a hospital. Country. Oh, yes, my yeah, baby's born a in a, thank you. He's a Canuck. I, I am uh, the father of uh, uh, Canuck progeny. Uh, and, and, and I'm very proud. It's actually a very lovely country. There's good people here. It's, uh, it's good, yeah. And, and he gets dual citizenship, you know, and he gets to say, uh, you know, words like gay and hockey. What? Sorry. Gar garage. Uh, but no, it's, yeah, but it's great. I mean, we had such a great experience having a, having a baby in Canada. I really, uh, I really like, uh, that my son is exposed to that. I mean, uh, he was new a lot of the time, but... Uh... Tetris. I thought it was called the sentimental. <coughs> you know, it's cold flu season again. I was wondering if anybody out there knew a good eye, ear, nose, and throat doctor. <coughs> uh, your symptoms are completely crazy. I mean, I'm totally out of control. They call him the sentinel because he uses his heightened senses to fight crime. <laughs> But you can just call him. Nighttime running, shooting, punching, butt kicking, stop crooks cold, so you can rest easy, cop. The Sentinel, an all new episode, UBN Wednesday.